bum 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 the peter dislike show bum 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 ever since i moved to phoenix arizona there's been one big thing that makes me not want to live anywhere else and so I'll let you pause the video to think about it. Earlier to, uh, this week, I was talking to a few former colleagues of mine about some job opportunities in Seattle, Washington. But as I talked, I discovered that there was a drawback of any job in Seattle or in most of the United States outside of Arizona and maybe Hawaii. Daylight savings time! I really despise switching the clocks. Now, I remember when I first learned, I've never liked it, and I distinctly remember my first time learning about it. I was in fourth grade. I used to go to a Chinese school every Sunday afternoon, and um, it was my Chinese school teacher who first introduced me to the concept. I was in fourth grade at the time, and she explained how we were going to have to change our clocks. Because the Chinese school was held on Sunday, so she wanted to make it, I guess she wanted to make it clear that the next Sunday would be affected, something like that. I was a little puzzled. I mean, I, you know, I, I live with my family. They, they always took care of it. I, I never got any exposure to it for some reason. In my mind, I probably thought it was introduced that year, right? I've never really been exposed to it until that time. And um, I... I the first time I heard it, I thought it was specific to the Chinese school. And um, I went back to my uh, fourth grade classroom and I asked my teacher, hey, my Chinese school teacher came up with this weird concept. Are we doing that too? And my uh, fourth grade teacher explained, yeah, we are. We've been uh, doing this every year, right? And um, I was just puzzled. I, uh, I remember uh, thinking that this was specific to school. Because we all know everybody's clock is off a little bit sometimes. I went to my favorite fast food restaurant and discovered to my dismay it applied there too. And so that was my first touch with it. And then it really goes to show I really didn't like it. I thought I thought these all these people who were telling me this stuff were being crazy about it. And even to this day, I still don't agree with it. If you want to work different hours so that you can have time after work to go out in the daylight, please do so, right? Just don't change the clock, right? There, there are certainly other things that I love to do during the summertime. I don't switch everything around just to make that happen, right? But having said that, uh, there are some timekeeping uh, changes that I, I wish we would be more fluid-minded and think about, right? So we've all heard the expression, there's only 24 hours in a day. Really? What, what, what is... Why do we have to go to sleep once every 24 hours or eat whatever number of meals every 24 hours. Why? Why do we have to go to work at the same time every day? Right? And um, I, 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 during the pandemic, I actually slept very well, believe it or not. But I was sleeping a little bit later every day. I actually discovered that quite by mistake when I was uh, in college, actually. It was spring break one year. And um, I kept going to bed later and later every night of the spring break until by the end of the break, I was going to sleep at 8 in the morning. And I became a huge mess. I fell asleep during class. Uh, my, my parents, my mom was driving me to college every day at the time. And my mom was embarrassed out of her mind. And um, she wanted me to go up to my professors and apologize for that. And I did. You know, my mom taught me to respect um, uh, all, all my professors. And I, I went up to them and apologized. But as soon as I finished the apology, I realized... Hey, what am I apologizing for? I actually, this is the best sleep I've ever gotten. I was 17 years old. This is the best sleep I've ever gotten. And yet I'm apologizing to people for getting good sleep. And it made me realize that, can we get rid of the 24-hour cycle? Especially in the age of remote work. You would think we could think about getting rid of the 24-hour cycle. And then people think, well, what about the essential jobs? Well, think of it this way. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. How many fast food workers do we have here? Go, go Google that. Even if everybody showed up at random times, I think you could get a statistic on how many people are available at a given hour, and you can still work around that, right? So that's something I, I would recommend everybody ponder over. There aren't 
24 hours in the day. That's a human construct, right? For some bizarre reason, we decide just because the sun rises and sets, we need to operate that way too, right? I love sunlight, don't get me wrong. There are times when I love being out when the sun's not out too, right? And um, certainly I love getting a lot uh, good sleep. And plus, when I was going about my 26, 27 hour days, things were a whole lot less rushed, right? If everybody did that, we'd have fewer traffic accidents and um, everybody be more well rested. And when you go to your essential job at McDonald's, you might see different colleagues every time you go there, right? Different set of customers, different um, lighting conditions. Sometimes you'll be working in the middle of the night, right? I think it, it could be a beautiful world if we be more flexible minded, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.